It's always a sure sign of spring and summer when you start to see little dragonflies buzzing around. I'm looking forward to it just as much as anyone else that lives in the cold climates and kind of getting into the spirit of gardening and being outside with our latest pop-up cards. And in this video, we're gonna put together um, a really pretty dragonfly card here. And it's got a pop-up element. It's really cool. Now take a look here in front of me. You can see the inside of the card. I've sort of pre-laid things out so that you can see them. So take a mental image of how it looks. Now before we actually put it together and glue everything down, you wanna start with the base of your card, okay? Now, uh, we did not include score lines with the, um, the primary file. And when I say primary file, I mean the file that comes in the standard SVG files folder, but we did include an optional one in the extras folder. So if you are having a hard time at all, or if you don't have a um, scoreboard to score this at the five inch mark, then by all means, um, you can use that version. Again, all I did was just fold this in half. Now, because of this long tab here, it may give you a little bit of resistance, but it's okay. Just keep on folding it until you get it folded in half. And also, um, as you're working on this, you'll notice that there's a series of little score marks on here. Now, find, find the score marks that are in these areas here. There should be one mirrored on the other side. So you have two right here, right here, and right here. That is your top, okay? So if you don't see the little mark down here, that means that's your bottom and you have to flip it over, okay? So we're going to just put together the little decorative pieces inside right now. I'm gonna start with our little flower here. Now these flowers, um, as you'll notice, and actually I didn't notice right away until I looked at it closely, the little petal at the bottom is a little bit smaller than the petal on top this is gonna be facing um, or pointing down, okay? And there's also a little notch here, right about there, that contours the little indent here on the petal, okay? So you wanna get that lined up with that. So let's just, let's just get going here and we'll just start getting all the little pieces glued in place and uh, before you know it, be rocking and rolling here. So again, just place that so that it's pretty close to the center seam, but not exactly. Okay, and we just repeat the same thing on the other side. Just make sure that you keep that small pedal pointing towards the bottom of the card. Okay. And just using that little guide there to help us position this thing so that it's nice and centered and symmetrical. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we're going to move on to one of the larger pieces here. I'm going to grab this piece. And what you'll notice is that there's a little score mark here. There's a score mark here. And then there's two score marks here. Okay. So... This little score mark here is going to contour this little shape here on this piece right there. Okay, and then just kind of use that as a pivot point. And then you'll notice that this little score mark here is gonna contour that shape there. And then when you do that, this little shape here and this little shape here should contour the other marks there. Okay, so that's basically how it's gonna go on. Those are your little reference points. And let's just go ahead and get this glued on. I may need to whip out the bigger bottle or I may need to put a little bit of a thicker line of glue on here because we've got a lot of surface area to work with and not a lot of time before this dries. So I'm going to angle it this way just to make sure that I'm getting this right the first time around. And that looks good, just like that. Okay, that looks great. 
And we're going to repeat the same thing. The other side also has the same score marks. So make sure you use them. Try to get that glue out to these little scalloped areas, circular areas, whatever you want to call them. They're not really scallops. They have a scallopy shape. Okay. And again, I'm just kind of using this one as my fulcrum. And, well, that's not even close. Whoops, had the wrong one there. And just making sure that I've got it nice and aligned. There we go. If it's off a smidge, it's not the end of the world. It'll still look great. So don't worry too much about that. Okay, now we're gonna grab this piece here and I need to get a closer look at this here. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's grab this piece here. There's a little, two little indicators there to help you with the placement of that. So that's gonna go right about there. And then there's one tiny little notch up here that goes to on the inside here where the inside portion starts to change, change angles. So it's gonna sit right in this little corner here. That's where that little marker goes. Okay, I'll show you how it goes there. They're very small. And that's by design because we didn't want really big markers on there so that you would see them. And they do get covered up by the panels on the front and the back, so it's totally fine. Okay, so again, down here, there's two little marks for the base of this, and then there's one little mark for the little corner piece. That little corner right there, just like that. Okay. And then we'll do the other side. Whoops. I'm so not used to this bottle, but I'm giving it another try because it is kind of making things a little bit neater with less smearing on these smaller pieces. I think I decided yesterday that I wasn't a fan of that small bottle using it for larger pieces. Okay, so that is going to go just like that. There we go. Okay. If it's not off, if it's, if it's off just a tad, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about it. It's not a big deal. Okay. Then we have these pretty little leaves here and these are going to go pretty much in between this piece and this piece. Just kind of follow these little curved areas here and just glue those down so that there's a nice little even border between the flower and the little leaf, the blue leaf there. Okay. And just do your best to get that nice and aligned like that. Just like that. Okay. And we'll do the other side. I'm trying to keep a nice symmetry along the way. Okay, and then we're going to work on our little dragonfly. And before you know it, our card will be done. And just about like that. That looks great. <clears throat> okay, so the interior here is all ready to go. Now what we want to do is grab our, grab our dragonfly. He's going to come to you flat like this. You're going to fold, you're going to do a uh, mountain fold here and then a valley fold here. Okay. So that he's like that. And we need to flip him over so that we can get our vellum on his wings. Okay. So you can see how the vellum is going to go on. Try to get it nice and centered and less is more when you're using the glue on this. If you have some spray glue that you want to use so that you don't have any visible glue around the vellum portion, you're welcome to do that. Um, through testing here, I've kind of discovered that using just a really thin glue bottle like this doesn't really create, and I'm just kind of brushing this glue to flatten it out a little bit, and it stays tacky enough 
to hold it in place, surprisingly. So just get that nice and centered and push that down until it grips nicely. And then that way, the wings don't get too heavy and it opens up nicely. A nice little spray glue on this would do the trick as well. No one's really gonna see the underside of this, so either way is fine. But if you really want to make it super nice, then, but there you go, that's what that should look like. Okay, so we'll just repeat that process on the other wing here. And just do your best not to get any glue inside of the cutout area onto the vellum. Don't wanna, don't wanna do that. Nice thin lines, glue, and I'm just gonna smush that down a little bit. And where's my other vellum? There it is. Get that nice and centered on there. And push down while it's still tacky. And give it a nice amount of pressure so that it binds with that glue nicely. I think the spray adhesive would work really well on this. I just don't like to use it because I don't like to smell it. It gives me a headache. So I'll always go with the glue instead. Okay, so first part of our dragonfly is done. Now what we want to do is grab this piece here. Okay, and your piece is going to come like this. The middle part you're going to do a mountain fold. These two pieces you can just leave flat. You can fold them up just for a second if you want, just to kind of train that paper a little bit. But just leave them flat because they're going to go into the um, they're going to go into these slits here. And now also, you'll notice that um, these are his arms. Okay, the arms are a little more um, they're thinner, and the feet are a little bit thicker. So just make sure that his face is aiming towards you. So he's going to go in like this. Okay, and we're not. We're not quite ready to put them in just yet, but I just wanted to show you that it's going to go in this way. Okay. With that said, I got to get them out of there. With that said, what we're going to do next is we're going to glue um, this piece to this piece like this. And the positioning for this, you can see this little triangular little butt thing on, on its butt. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to line this up so that the tip of that triangle matches up with the tip of the first little cutout on his tail. So you want them to basically, the little, the little points to be touching. Okay, you can see how that little point of his butt is just barely touching. You don't want it to go over, you want it to just so that the two points meet. Okay, and all we need to do is just put glue right here in the center. And you can give it a good amount of glue because then as you push down, it will kind of smush out. Okay, so, and then just wedge that right in there and just make sure that that tip is meeting up with that other tip. Okay, and just make sure that it's nice and centered, that you have it nice and aligned. Okay, I need to look at that a little bit closer. There we go. And then you can go ahead and squeeze to create one piece there and then just you can squeeze it like this to really help it get its shape. Okay, there we go. All right, so we kind of have a little dragonfly thing happening here. Now you're like, well, what about its wings? Well, we have this little mechanism here, okay? And the mechanism is going to go through these little slits on the base of his body. Okay, you can see those little slits. Now what you want is the round portion towards his head, the flat portion towards his back. So go ahead and slide one of these through. Well, actually, you probably want to do both at the same time. And just slide the other one through until it's all the way through. Just like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to glue these little pieces to the inside of the wing, and you can see that that shape kind of exists there on his wing so that when you look on the other side, you don't see that piece poking through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of glue right on this little area here. 
right about there. Okay, and we're going to pull this in all, pull this all the way through as far as it'll go. And just hold it like that. And I just had a, had a little blackout there for a second. Luckily, everything's on a backup. And you're just gluing that to the wing. Okay, and we're going to go on the other side and do the same thing. So just get your glue in that little area there that has the same shape as this piece. Make sure that you're pulling it all the way through as far as it goes and get it aligned with that piece there. And then just push and hold that until it sets. Okay. Give that a second. Now the wings are nice and erect for us. Okay, next step is taking these, taking these little tabs and feeding them through the slits on the card. Okay, and as long as they're in there, he should close nicely. We're gonna take these, these little tabs here, we're gonna fold them away from the edge of the card. So go ahead and put some glue on a little tab here, you don't need a lot, and fold it over and press down. Let that set, flip it over, and glue, and press down, let it set, and there we go. And the wings eventually will kind of, um, they'll probably start to go down more, but we want them up which is nice. And there's your little pop-up dragonfly, okay? So that just leaves our front and back. The back is just a nice white piece here that you can glue on like so, okay? And that's gonna be for stamping, journaling, writing your message, whatever you wanna do. And now let's show you how the front works. And you're like, what about that tab? Well, we've got this beautiful little piece here with the dragonfly on it. That is gonna go right on here, okay? And you just wanna make sure that you're covering up any of the little cutouts there, the guides for the inside of the card, and that should cover nicely. Okay, so you're gonna glue that there. And then we've got this little piece here. It's gonna get glued there. Let's go ahead and just do the front. The back is pretty self-explanatory. It's just one little piece, so you can get that. I won't bore you with that but let's get our front on because we do have a cute little flower that we're gonna include with this. Okay, so just get that on there so that you have a nice even border all the way around. And let's see, how does that look? That does not look even at all. There we go, that looks better. Mm. Yeah, that looks good, and then again, this part here is gonna go right here, just enough to cover up the tab. So let's get our glue on this. And I'm gonna use my bigger bottle of glue because this is a bigger little a bigger little piece, like that makes any sense. And I'm just gonna use my other bottle here. Much better. I like how this flows better. I still have to try the I think it's called Glitter Art Glue that everyone's talking about in the Dreaming Tree group on Facebook. I promise you guys I will. Just give me some time here. Okay, nice even border all the way around. Try to get that nice and centered. Okay, hopefully I got that right. Let's take a look. Well, it's not as good as I would have hoped, but it'll work. And of course, just make sure that you get enough glue into this little area here to cover up that little tab part. And just hold that down in place until it sets nicely. I may need to use my little trick here. Let's get a little extra glue right up to the edge. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on a razor blade. You can do this with a piece of paper. And I'm just kind of painting the underside of this section here that's kind of 
and that's sitting very well for me. And I'm gonna hold that down and give it a little bit of extra personal attention so that it stays down for me. Okay. And you probably wanna be more patient with this than I'm being. Okay, so last but not least, we've got a little flower that we're gonna put on here. And I kinda of wanna position it so that this little round area here is in between these two blue areas. And I think um, about that angle is pretty good. It's kinda of up to you how you wanna put it. I'll show you how, how it was designed. This bottle's giving me some problems now. Oh, glue. Okay. And again, we're just going to plop it down, kind of like, kind of like this. There we go. Wipe up any of that excess that may have came up. Okay. And we have a little purple piece here. And that's going to go just off to the right. Okay. Oh. Wow, that really, uh, that little bottle really does do a better job sometimes at getting uh, just the right amount of glue out for smaller pieces. I'm just kind of dabbing those little areas where I had a little too much glue come out. That's okay, it'll dry clear, so it's fine. So you're just kind of lining it up with the round portion there. Okay, now we've got a little flower here. Now I've taken a taking some ink to it. I've actually inked quite a few of the pieces on this and I'm just taking a dowel and just kind of training the petals out just to give them a little bit more life so they're not just flat. Okay, and we're gonna put a little bit of glue on the bottom of this piece here and get it nice and centered on that green portion. Okay, this will still mail flat and then Hopefully it'll kind of pop out a little bit more um, when your recipient gets it. And I'm gonna take this little center piece of the flower and I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a curl. Not too much, but I wanna kinda of give it a little bit of a dimension to it. Just to kinda of give it some more life. And then we'll pop that right in the center. There we go, just make sure it's nice and centered. It is. Got a cute little rhinestone that I'm gonna put in the middle of that. And then we just need to make an envelope, which I'll show you how to, how to do. Shouldn't take long. Let's get a nice little green rhinestone in there. And let's see, yeah, that'll work. Just pop a little dot. Glue right in the center. Drop our rhinestone in, give it a good squish. Make sure it's nice and centered. There we go. There we go, and there's your, your beautiful card. Okay, again, don't forget to put the back on. I'm gonna do that off camera so I don't bore you. And our handy little envelope here. It's all one piece. What you wanna go ahead and do is begin by folding all of the pieces over. And we've got this piece here. And as you can see, that is going to cover up the little details on there. What you wanna do is get that nice and centered. Okay, let me see if I can get this glue bottle working again. Okay, so what you wanna do here on this piece is I'm just gonna do a series of dots and I'm just gonna dot around the pattern. You don't wanna go all the way out to the edge because this green piece that we're about to put on here does not go all the way out to the edge, but try to get some glue in between the little details. Okay, 
Okay, and just pop that on, making sure you're covering up all of the little cutouts, and then try to create a nice even border on the inside there as well, just to kind of make things look nice and beautiful. And that is what it's going to look like from the outside. And to finish this off, we're going to fold these in. We're going to fold that up. And I'm just going to do some dots of glue. Because sometimes I get lines on these sections, and I don't like that. So I'm just doing dots. And that should hold everything just fine. And just hold that down until that dries. And then you have your, your beautiful little envelope for your beautiful card. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.